Hey guys! So this is a vlog about my weekend visiting Smith College, which is one of the top women's colleges in the world, producing alum like Gloria Steinem, Sylvia Plath, and yes, Emily Gilmore. Fictional, but I think it still counts. So yeah, the title is clickbait. I didn't transfer, but I'm so glad I got to experience Northampton, Massachusetts with two of my high school friends. Uh, Brooke goes to Smith and Julia goes to Stanford and just flew in for the weekend. Uh, Smith is a very naturey place and I loved being near the water, surrounded by so many forests and trees and creatures. visited this place in the forest uh, filled with gratitude letters so anyone can come and write what they are grateful for and hang it on these clotheslines. Julia's writing one and I wrote my own. Grateful for God and grace. Where are we going? Where are we going? We're going to get fought and Amherst. And Amherst. After pho, we made our way to a little farmer's market and then went to the Eric Carl Museum. He is the artist behind the Very Hungry Caterpillar. We first started out with an artistic project. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, this is my train. Choo-choo. Choo-choo. <laughs> Go chug a chug a chug a chug a chug a chug a I think it speaks for itself. <laughs> <laughs> that confidence. And Ruby's got a little a little family going on. Oh, oh so really cute. cute. That is cute. Don't feel anxious, don't feel shame. If it's a question, it can wait. Like it's all in vain. I try to remember it ain't a race. Breathe out, it doesn't matter anyway. Breathe in, it's about happiness in the air. Take it slow, watch the road stop, driving myself insane. End of the day. I added my flower with things I am grateful for to this beautiful wall of flowers to spread some joy. Afterwards, we went to get some Thai food at Brooke's favorite Thai place, and it was amazing. <laughs> We spent the rest of our evening just exploring these little novelty <laughs> shops in Northampton. Um, this was like a really interesting, fun candy shop that I thought their signs were very creative. That is the goth urban outfitters that Brooke used to work at. We also visited her library and some of the awesome study spaces on campus. It's about happiness in the Next morning we woke up bright and early, got some pastries from Brooke's favorite coffee shop, um, and took a road trip to an orchard called Park Hill Orchard. So Brooke, along with a lot of Smithies, are very familiar with this orchard because they have something called Mountain Day. The college president announces it randomly. It means classes are canceled and everyone just gets to go pick apples at the orchard. It was a beautiful day at the orchard. I loved being out in the field picking apples with my friends. Best part is they encourage you to pick apples, try different varieties, and figure out which one you like. How's it? You got me in to go. You have to go. Yes, Brooke, I'm waiting. You full weight, get it? <laughs> okay, ready? Oh, I so felt it! Right? <laughs> Twilight. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> Take 
After we enjoyed our apple cider slushies and our apple pie, we took a tour around the sculpture garden in the orchard. Next, we visited something called the Book Mill. It is a bookstore right next to a water mill. I like to dance to my soul feel it. So you're trying to shake something, really move your hips. Yeah, yeah. Real smooth with it, smooth with it. Ooh, no, you're wrong when you say you don't want to dance. That's not like you. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, huh. Shock me up when you said to me nice that you only like jazz and blues. It's gotta be smooth for you. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, all right. Smooth for you. Yeah, listen, yeah, yeah, uh, get it, get it, bottles up enough so you can go, that's it, that's it, all I want to see is that you move with it, with it, lady, tell me what you trying to do. We went back to Smith's campus to enjoy views of their iconic waterfall. If you vibe with me, I was thinking about you when I chose this fit, said it, I can so you invite me to the floor, you got that dress so we won't take it. To top it off, Brooke brought us to this secret lovely garden in the back of one of the residential houses and we saw a bunny overall it was such a quintessential new england weekend and i had so much fun shout out to brooke for showing me and julia around so i want to show you guys a little bit of my haul in terms of like trinkets and things that i got from northampton um this was from the eric carl museum these postcards i thought they were so lovely and wonderful and put up as my wall decor and then over here he he we got um this at the book mill and these at the orchard and it was just so so lovely and it's just a really great memory and then we have this amazing Eric Carl poster. I feel like I'm in a classroom, like prime learning environment. Um, and on the outside of my door, this beautiful poster um, by a really fantastic artist named Nikki McClear. And I'm just such a fan of this. It's like vaguely foreboding, um, also very powerful. I think it's a really cool image to like enter and exit my door through. I also got this book from um, the book mill, Letters to a Young Artist by Anna DeBeer Smith, who actually visited my high school. Um, she's this amazing theater maker who like basically interviews people from all walks of life and reenacts like their transcripts of the interviews like word for word pretty much. So I'm really excited um, to be inspired by this book. And finally, I got this blazer, thrifted it. Um, it's a Giorgio Armani blazer. Got it for about $35. And I thought it was just so fantastic. And it just fits me so right. It has a little bit of padding on the shoulders, not too much. Um, and I just really like the reflective material. I do not know what material this is made of, but the inside's quite warm. Um, and I just can't wait till it's like fall and I can like wear this to class because I think this is such a look and I'm such a fan of this blazer. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed this vlog as much as I did my trip to Smith. Um, stay tuned for one more travel vlog to New York City and let me know what you want to see more of in the comments below. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.